Hey guys, General Gamer here, welcome back to another video. This video will be part of a series of videos that I will be taking nice and slowly to show a lot of you guys that are new to Clash of Kings and for those of you that are wanting to start or play a game similar to Clash of Kings, what to do in the beginning stages of a game like this and specifically Clash of Kings. This video will hopefully give you the best foundation that you guys can use to build yourselves a castle in an efficient manner that will help you to be maybe on top of your of your game and in your kingdom. It is a very cutthroat kind of game so you really have to be on top of your game and especially if you want to not spend so much money like a Chinese would but also if you are someone that can spend a little bit it will help but this is for those of you that specifically do not want to spend a lot and to help all of us actually to play more efficiently from the start. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Firstly, I would just like to say be aware that you cannot move kingdoms. Um, I think it is if you're castle level 6 and above, you cannot move kingdoms or if your account that you're playing on is older than 3 days. So I'm going to be moving this specific castle and this account just to show you guys how it is done. So firstly that we do after we've done the whole tutorial, um, you guys can see this is a brand new castle, I just finished the tutorial, I sped that all up so I can get into a proper video and not waste too much time. Now first things that you do is you go to the world map, then you'll go to the kingdom map and then you go to the global map. And the, okay, as you can see I'm already in a new kingdom, that's great. If you aren't in a new kingdom, say if I was in this kingdom here, 1386, I would look around the borders for the kingdoms that says hot next to them. There's a whole bunch, I'm not 100% sure when they come out, but when they do there's often quite a few that come out at a time. Choose the one that you want to be in and you'll tap on that kingdom. Uh, let me show you actually, if you, if you tap on the one next to mine and I want to move there, you just scroll over here to the grass side, anywhere really, and you say move kingdom. And then I'll give you a bit of a warning saying that, oh, are you sure you want to do this and so forth, and you just tap OK. I'm not going to do that now because I'm in the kingdom I actually want to be in for this um, castle build. So let's just stay in the kingdom that I am in and let's start. Now after you've moved your kingdom to the kingdom that you desire, the most important part in the beginning is to upgrade efficiently and as quickly as possible. Especially if you are trying to race other castles, you would want to start off by upgrading the most important buildings first and not um, spend all of your resources on buildings that are mediocre or stuff that you don't really need. Now for each castle level you're going to have to upgrade certain buildings and as various buildings to upgrade to the next level. So for example, if I want to upgrade my castle, we tap upgrade and we see here that I need to upgrade my wall to level 2. So let's click on go to. Now once my screen reaches go to the wall, I'll click upgrade and start. Good. Then tap free, go through this. There's going to be a bit of tutorial in this video because I didn't finish it all, but it's helpful for you guys to also see basically what's happening. Now once you start out you get these special chests, you get them for 7 days so make sure that you get them all because they do help a lot. I collected that now so let's uh, just get through this uh, little talk scene, I think that's it. Cool, now tomorrow when I log in again I'll get day 2, day 3 on the third day and so forth. Um, also remember to log into your, ok you can't do that yet, I'll show you that once we reach level 3. Firstly, that I would like to say is castle buildings, upgrade everything that you need to. So we can upgrade the castle now, another little scene will be played, we just skip that. Okay, click free. Um, Alright, and then once again, let's click on castle, upgrade. So now we need to upgrade the sawmill to level 3 and the walls. The walls would have to be upgraded every single time you upgrade your castle. So let's tap on the wall, there we go, upgrade this to level 3, that's going to take uh, going to take about 12 minutes. Now I wouldn't speed that up because um, it's a waste of a speed up because at 10 minutes we'll be able to free build which is like an instant build. So let's just wait for that 
And in the meantime, we can activate a second builder. There we go, activate a second builder. And use him to upgrade the sawmill while the other one's going. And this we should be able to speed up because it's still very low levels. Obviously, the higher the level, the longer it'll take. Once that's done, okay, we just upgrade our Lord level. Now, when you upgrade your Lord level, you get given some power and skill points. Okay, it depends on what Lord level you get, how many skill points you get, and you get some rewards which aren't really the greatest, but they do help. If we go over here to our Lord, we can see over here is our skill points. Now, you get three different types of skills. Now, the three different types, there's one for combat, one for development, and one for support. Uh, combat's obviously for fighting and if you want to be an aggressive player. Development is for gathering resources and um, building up your your building castles, your, your, the buildings in your castle, and also for research. Support is for killing um, monsters and training troops, and also for trap building speed. Those are not really necessary at the moment, so I would say we go straight into development and see how far we can get with this and focus on development um, so we can benefit from it even more. Okay, we have three seconds left on the wall. Let's instant build that. Now that our wall is level three, we can go and upgrade the castle. And because we already upgraded the sawmill, it's a lot quicker doing it this way. So now we will use some speed ups to try to kill some of the time. And we're not going to waste speed up, so now we're going to have to wait 23 seconds. It's very important not to go and blast another 5 minute speed up, especially in the beginning. Because those you're going to really need uh, later on in the game. So I would say rather wait a few seconds left and um, try to save as many as you can and do it at the most efficient possible way that you are able to. So there we go, we can speed that up now. Now we're going to have some more chit chat with this princess um, okay okay now we tap wall castle again so we see now it's wall again because okay, always the wall always the wall have to be upgraded and I think the other thing was a, a farm okay so let's get the farm up so here we go let's get this to level four things all four or five I might have to level five yeah level five no, it's level 4. Okay, um, now what I'll say is, first of all, let's collect this gift at the dock because this is this gifts at the dock work on a um, time system. So now in the next 4 minutes and 20 seconds, I'll be able to collect it again. So we go here to the drill grounds, upgrade the drill grounds while we wait for the wall. Free that. Okay, we're going to get um, quest rewards now. Now these quest rewards come quite in handy but what I would say is save them as long as possible here let's just upgrade the draw grounds again uh, upgrade the draw grounds again so it's on the same castle level because there we go okay so now if we go over here I just want to show you guys where to see your castle buffs now over here you can see we have a peace shield activator for three days when you start a new account you'll have a three day peace shield activator already okay I would use that as long as you can. Don't break that peace shield until you really have to. And honestly, I would say try to keep a peace shield on until you're big enough to actually fight your way and defend yourself. Yeah, so more uh, buffs would be added as I upgrade my castle, but for now I've got those five. Over here, we can just go read our mail quick. We can see we already have an invitation to an alliance. Now, one of the most important parts to being successful in, um, in Clash of Kings from the start is to either join a successful line or to start a successful line. What I mean by that is you've got to have a few members that don't mind spending money and also that are able to spend money because it does become quite a, a costly thing but if you do have some of those people that can spend it will really benefit the whole alliance more because when a member buys a package from Clash of Kings, depending on the price, the entire alliance will be given a gift. Now, like I said, it depends on the, the price of the package. So if they buy a very expensive package, you'll get a legendary um, 
you get a legendary gift which is sent to the whole alliance and those legendary gifts can have some really really nice things to help you upgrade your castle even faster so it is very very important to get into a good stable spending alliance from the start but i would not say that we would be spending much money in this in this um, clash in this specific account because i'm just trying to show you guys the basics of it so this won't be my main account just here under the system messages we got we're giving a 60 minute vip uh, novice teleport message choose your name okay that's that's all fine you guys can read those uh, messages in your own time i would strongly suggest that you do read the messages from clash of kings especially the messages that come with a upgrade of the game when the gra when the game gets updated it is very important to read what is put new into the game so you can stay on top of things say for example if there's a new event coming in that you can get on top of it and benefit from it as quick as possible there's an event in this game called the euro sega when that came out first i always read the, the notes from, from clash kings and i saw okay those are great and I won that event, I think it was three times in a row that I won that event. And if you speak to anyone that's played this game, in the beginning that event was really, really rich with rewards. And I got that three times for winning and it, was, it really helped me to push my castle to a higher level because I paid attention, it was new, a lot of people didn't really pay attention, a lot of people didn't really know about it, so it made it easier for me to benefit from it. So I strongly recommend make sure you read and pay attention to those. I'd also just like to show you guys here that you got your VIP. Now, once your VIP is activated, you're able to speed your buildings up instantly. Um, yeah, you're, you're able to speed your buildings up instantly. If you upgrade this, if you upgrade your VIP, you get more time that you can upgrade or speed build your, your buildings. Um, for example, I think it is level 10 that you get 30 minutes. Yeah, level 10, somewhere, yeah, it might be even 9, no, it's at level 10, um, VIP, you get 30 minutes instant build, which is a big thing if you are building, but by the time you reach um, VIP 10, you're not really going to be bothered by um, speed building, it's mainly just for the, the lower levels and for the, the, the newer players. Um, while we wait for our wall to build a bit, we can build the rest of the buildings that we need to uh, get done build for example our range and I think the siege is only at the next level yeah so let's do the college over here it doesn't matter where you build your buildings I'm just building it according to roughly where I put my buildings for my main castle it's not exactly but it's, it's roughly where I do I'll just do this little tutorial for research okay that's gonna take two minutes for the research let's look at our messages again Sometimes you just have to pull it down so the messages can load. So I see I've got quite a few invites to alliances. I'm not going to join anyone yet for now. Because I actually want to spend some time looking at the different alliances and giving you guys the best opinion and the best uh, advice for the alliance. Uh, I just want to show you guys also here while we're for the time for the wall is when you're killing monsters, make sure that you kill them because recently they added that you get um, epic equipment in killing monsters for the new new players so that is really really helpful because when i started out that was not in so equipment in this game is very very important i have made another video emphasizing that but that's more of an advanced video so if you're new just watch this one just make sure that you get really really important and um, you focus a lot on your equipment um for now that is all right i'm going to pause the video here and let this time run by for the for the wall so i can save as much speed ups like that i can so i can use it for later um, upgrades that i need to do so let's just pause the video here. okay now that we're ready to record again and the the wall is done let's um, speed that up and get onto the castle again okay now the castle is going to take an hour out I'll, I'll suggest um if you can buy some speed up packs, it'll help you to upgrade faster, but it's not necessary. Here we go, we've got our castle done. Now, okay, we've got another castle upgrade. The first few levels of 
Natasha Kings will go really fast. I'm trying to take it a little bit slower so that you guys can follow my video and perhaps um, start a new account at the same time and have that running as you're um, listening to what I'm saying and, and just follow my video as you're upgrading your car. So I just restarted or oh, I just upgraded the wall again. You're gonna have to wait for that. And the next thing was the depot. So let's do the depot. Get this as high as we can with free building speed. And this is really gonna help those of you that uh, that are trying to push your castle as quick as you can because it is it is essentially it is a, a bit of a race in the beginning because the stronger your castle, the higher level, the better troops you can have, and it really does um, make a big difference to a lower castle. Once you unlock a new tier of troops, you'll you'll see that the, the amount or the strength of the new troops is a lot better than the the older troops and your troops only really upgrade every three levels so it's very important to pay attention to your buildings your your troop buildings and yeah so i think this would be a good point to stop this specific episode and i'll call this episode one and then I'll just stop it here uh, so that you guys can follow a bit and catch it up. And also go in and learn what each building does. Just click on them, see what they do, like the college, okay, that's for science, the uh, fortress, okay, that's for traps. Go and do yourself some research and just look around a bit and learn what each individual building does. Because the more you know, the better you would be at this game and the more fun it would be. So in my next videos, I would do a i'll go on further and try and upgrade my castle even more i won't do any upgrades without you guys so i'll wait for these timers to run out and start my the start episode two and then i'll post that as it is so i'm gonna try to keep as much i'm gonna try to keep all that i do on camera for you guys to see and be able to follow easily and comfortably as i as i progress with this specific castle so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this series of videos will help you guys if you do like the videos and you want to show some love please like it and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos if you don't like it please leave a comment and tell me what it is that you don't like maybe there's something that i didn't say that you guys know and if you tell me in my comments then there's other people that can see that so that they can benefit from that advice as well but please keep it kind and nice. We are all trying to learn from each other here. And thank you once again so much for watching this video. Hope to see you guys in episode two. Cheers.